Good afternoon, M1444. Please introduce yourself. Hello, good afternoon. I am Christy Armanza. I am 43 years old, residing at Ponsaka I have only one child and I am married. I came from Abu Dhabi, UAE from May 2017 to July 2019. Okay, so do you have experience as a housemaid before? Uh, that was my first time. Okay, so for two years. Yeah. Okay, so what is your main duty? My main duty there is uh, to take care of the child and then doing household chores like cooking, cleaning, and then um, other uh, household. Like that. Okay, so what time you wake up in the morning? I usually wake up around 5.30 and I'll sleep around 11 in the evening. Do you have any experience taking care of newborn baby? Actually, uh, from the speaking, uh, I don't have uh, experience in uh, taking care of a uh, newborn. But as a mother, I already have an experience as a mother, but from the other children. Okay, so... Okay, so... Do you know how to prepare the battle? Yes, of course. First, uh, you will wash the bottle, put this washing liquid, and then you will rinse that one. After, you will sterilize the bottle, and then uh, you will check also the label of the, the milk you use, what will, how many scoops that will appropriate for the milk, and then you will put water, and then uh, hot, hot, hot also, hot water, and then put one water, like Okay. So if the baby finishes his or her milk, what you have to do? Of course, I will uh, take him or take her and put her on my shoulder, and then I will take her for a birth. So she will birth the, milk, the excess milk. Okay. So for the first time in the future, are you willing to take care of a newborn baby? Yes, I am willing. Okay. So. So that's. The situation is, for example, uh, when Madame is not around and the baby uh, stops crying, will uh, not stop crying. Um, what will you do? First, I will check her or his temperature if she is sick or he is sick, and then uh, I will call Madame that if he have a fever, and then I will take her advice if he will uh, give him the right medicine for him or for her. Like that. And then maybe he was hungry or he needs to change diet for them. Okay. So if your employer cannot provide a Sunday up, is it okay for you? Yes, it's okay. Do you accept? Yes, I accept. Are you willing to cut your hair short? Yes, of course. Are you willing to share a job with other helpers? Yes, of course. Are you willing to take care of disabled elderly? Yes, I am. Do you accept to work in the employer's house like three with the camera recording system? Yes, of course. Okay, so you have tattoo? No, no, you I don't have. Do you smoke? No. Do you drink alcohol? No, of course. Are you prepared to eat the food that your employers provide? Yes, of course. Are you willing to serve for family with more than six members? Yes, I am. Okay, so do you have any kind of allergy? No, I don't have. Okay, so can you promise not to use cell phone and telephone without the consent of your employer, especially during the working hours? Yes, I am. Okay, so why do you want to go in Hong Kong? Uh, first, I want to know their culture and belief. And then, second, uh, for my future, because I know that in Hong Kong there is a more higher salary so that I can send my uh, son to college for a better school, for a better foundation like that. Okay, so how long you want to work in Hong Kong? As long as my employee needs me. It's my, uh, my work, and I also want to finish my family. Okay, so if you work abroad, who will be the one who will take care of your kids? Of course, my relative and my husband. Okay, so please give a message to your future employer. To my future employer, this is Christian Mansa. I hope I can uh, work with you. I am trustworthy, I am kind, and I, I am a uh, fast learner, and uh, I am very humble. Thank you. Okay, so thank you N1444. See you in Hong Kong.